Hi, I'm Bad Rogue, and I want to tell you how you can boost performance in Rainbow Six Siege using NVIDIA's DLSS. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. It boosts frame rates by rendering frames at a lower resolution and then upscaling the frames so they look as sharp as you would expect them to. What's good about this is it means you can turn this on, increase other graphics settings such as texture quality, and not only will you not take a hit to your performance, you can actually get a performance increase. Yes, you heard that right better FPS, and better graphics at the same time. However, before I go any further, I should inform you that this feature only works on NVIDIA's 20 and 30 series cards, so if you don't have an NVIDIA 20 or 30 series card, you won't be able to take advantage of this feature. I'm also talking about DLSS 2.0 and not the first version, which had an iffy start. It comes with four modes, not including off and auto. Quality, balanced, performance, and ultra performance. Quality mode offers high image quality and a small performance boost. This should be closest to what you have now with a slight performance increase. The performance setting offers a greater boost, but the quality may suffer slightly. I honestly didn't notice a difference between the quality setting and off for the most part, and I'll show you my tests in a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Then there is balanced mode, which is a split between quality and performance. Last is Ultra Performance. It offers the greatest performance boost, however, I did notice a change in visual quality. So first I compared frame rates by walking down a hallway on border using MSI Afterburner to show my minimum, maximum, and average FPS. I had all settings on low except for LOD quality, which was set to Ultra, and anti-aliasing, which was set to TAA, and these were the results. With DLSS off, my average FPS ranged from about 315 to 329. With DLSS set to quality, my average FPS was between 325 and 333. With DLSS on balanced, I got between 339 and 343. On performance, I got between 347 and 353. And on ultra performance, I got between 354 and 356. As NVIDIA claims, there is a definite FPS boost with each tier of DLSS. Just looking at the comparison of off versus quality, it already seems worth it because off and quality offer the same visuals, however the quality setting offers a small performance boost. Now Nvidia boasts that with DLSS you can turn other graphic settings like texture quality up and still see a boost in performance, so I decided to try that. First I compared low texture quality to very high texture quality with DLSS off. As expected, with texture quality set to very high, my average frame rate dropped between 10 and 15 frames when compared to low texture quality. Then I tested low texture settings with DLSS off versus very high texture settings with DLSS on and set to quality. And NVIDIA's claims held up. I got better visual quality and frame rates stayed about the same. I also ran Siege's in-game benchmark on low and very high texture settings. I ran the benchmark five times for each DLSS setting, including off, and these were the results. Take notice that it didn't matter if I had texture settings on very high or low, my FPS with DLSS on were pretty much the same across the board. Another interesting thing to note here is that the difference between balanced, performance, and ultra performance here is negligible. They all got about the same FPS when using Siege's in-game benchmark. However, keep in mind that when I did my own testing in-game when I was actually walking around in a map, there was a more significant difference. Now for the visual quality. I have to say that for the most part, I really didn't notice a difference between off, quality, balanced, and performance. They all looked pretty much the same. There were some very small drops in quality, but I really had to strain to find them because they really only become noticeable at extreme range, mostly on the exterior of maps where not much actual gameplay takes place anyway. In fact, after searching through three different maps, this instance here on Oregon was the only one noticeable enough to showcase in this video. If you look closely at the windshield of the white fan outside main entrance, it becomes more pixelated the more you boost performance with DLSS. The only time the visual quality noticeably suffered was on ultra performance. When using ultra performance, the overall world looked blurrier and the flat edges of surfaces looked jagged.
I also noticed a little bit of pixelation around the edges of smoke clouds. So is NVIDIA's DLSS 2.0 on Rainbow Six Siege worth it? Absolutely yes. Even at its lowest setting, it still offered an FPS boost while keeping visual quality the same. And even when turning texture quality up from low to very high, I still got more FPS than when I did with DLSS off, and didn't lose any noticeable visual quality unless I pushed DLSS all the way up to ultra performance. So which setting will I be using going forward? Right now I'm going to say performance. It offers the biggest boost in FPS and still maintains the current visual quality I'm enjoying now. However, if you have a really keen eye and must have a better looking game, you can still set DLSS to balanced or quality to get better graphics and still get a small performance boost. Win-win. So that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. I'm also interested in your thoughts on the subject, so leave me a comment if you'd like to share. Thanks for watching.